Now, new information on the shooting at a Chattanooga grocery store on Friday night. Police now have a suspect in custody and say the victim wasn't the only one in danger. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden is at the bylaw to tell us how police tracked down their suspect. Good evening, Betsy. Well, Chattanooga police tell us that they could clearly see Deuce, the suspect, on Bilo's surveillance video. They say Deuce was getting money at an ATM when he began to exchange word with Gearing, words with Gearing. Um, he was leaving this store and Gearing was following him. Deuce turned around and fired multiple shots towards Gearing and a witness, two young children, and a store employee. In today's world, it's going to happen. It's going to get worse in time. That's my feelings. This is the man who was shot, 27-year-old Desmond Gearing, also known by his rap name, G Whopper Flame. Chattanooga police say surveillance video shows Friday night, a fight at an ATM inside the Bilo led 19-year-old D'Angelo DeMarcus Dews to pull a gun and shoot Gearing, with a father and his two young children and a store employee close by. How did police track down dues? The video also shows him dropping an ATM receipt minutes before the shooting. Customers say the crime is upsetting, but they're not going to let it change their shopping habits. I don't think it would have any real effect on anybody shopping at Bible. Because the guy got shot, I just don't see that. On Gearing's Facebook page, you see flyers promoting shows at venues like Chocolate City and downtown Chattanooga. There's a thriving music scene in Chattanooga, but some say there isn't much rap. No, it's not a lot of them because of the simple fact they've gotten a bad rap in our city, I feel like. And normally, a lot of times, what you see with, uh, with rappers, I mean, you know, the, the fade with the pants down, the dregs, then people begin to stereotype. And now I spoke with employees at Erlinger Medical Center earlier today, and they did not have any information on Gearing or his condition, but we will be bringing you more information as that becomes available. Back to you. Betsy, thanks.